Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Lena. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about books that I really want to read soon. A while ago I made a video about uh, books that I will not read. So today we're going to talk about some of the ones that I have on my TBR that I definitely want to read, either physically or that I still need to buy. So because I no longer do book hauls, I realized that sometimes I just don't speak about books that I just have on my TBR. So let's just change that today. So one of the first ones that I have here is Shadow Shinjuku, which is a self-published uh, urban fantasy novel uh, set on Japan, if I'm not mistaken. It's basically about kind of exploring the Japanese underground. I don't know, it sounds amazing. I just really want to read it soon. The thing is, it doesn't have an audiobook, so each time that I have a book with, an, uh, with no audio, I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll postpone it a little bit, but I definitely want to get to this one soon. The next one that I have here is Fireborn. And the thing is, I've heard great things from people that I actually trust their, uh, their taste. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm dense today. But, uh, I wasn't expecting much when I was, when I bought this. Uh, I know that it had a Dragon Riders, so I was very excited overall. But since then, I've just heard praise about this series. It just picked my interest and now I'm just like, okay, I need to read it. But yeah. Like a lot of people that I know have given this like five stars. So I'm just like, is this really like just that good? <laughs> but yeah, it's basically said uh, after a revolution, we have two different kids. Uh, I think one is an aristocrat and the other one is lowborn. Now the lowborns have the ability to become dragon riders. There's a lot going on here, apparently. I believe there's also politics, which, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for. But yeah, I'm quite excited. Then there's this book. I bought this book not knowing anything about it, but it's called Doors of Sleep. Hear me out. Literally, I have heard no one talk about this book. <laughs> Never seen it in a wrap up TBR or whatever. But when I saw it on Goodreads, I don't know what I, how I got to it, honestly. It just caught my eye. It's basically about a guy who has the ability to travel between worlds while he's sleeping. And I just find that so fascinating. Every type of power that has to do with sleep or memory, I'm just a fucking sucker for. So yeah, definitely need to read this one. Then I've talked about this one before, but this is The Wolf. And again, I've heard great things about this one. The more that I hear about it, the more I think it's kind of historical fiction, historical fantasy, which... Uh, <laughs> So apparently in this world, we have two different races, one in the north and one in the south. Uh, the north's one, the northern ones are uh, like a very um, ancient in the sense that they live a super long life. Then the southern ones, I think they have no powers overall. So uh, apparently wars coming, there's an army invading and now the peace between them is kind of sharing. Weird, but I think it might be interesting. I think it might be interesting. So again, <laughs> a hero born. I just really want to read this book. I just never find the time to do it. But this is also a tale of an invasion. And I don't know, I just really want to read it overall. I just want to be a, I want to like this series, you know? I just want to really like this series in general. Some of my friends have liked it. Some of them have not really been in the mood for it. So I don't know, I just really want to read it. Get me done with it. A book that I've been kind of postponing a bit since I got it is Ashes of the Sun by Jan Wexler. The thing is, uh, I read another book by him, um, The Thousand... The Shadow Campaigns, I just don't remember the name of the first book. And I liked it, it was military fantasy, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. And now I got this, and the thing is, uh, this book just feels like a game, I don't know. Something about it is screaming video game to me, so I really want to read it, but at the same time, I'm afraid of not liking it. I don't know why. For some reason, I'm just kind of scared of this book. It's weird, but I also really want to read it. Uh, if I remember correctly, you follow two brothers, two siblings. Yeah, basically the synopsis is very vague in this one, but there's like a dead empire, that magic. I don't know. I just really need to read this. <laughs> then a sci-fi that I've been uh, postponing for some reason, which why, but I'll read it next month. The Reality Dysfunction by Peter F. Hamilton. Since I talk about my love for the Commonwealth saga, a lot of people have said that this trilogy was actually his best work. So I'm just like, 
Why haven't I read it? <laughs> so yes, I do actually own it. Uh, I will read it next month for sure. But yeah, this is this actually has the trope of an extinct race kind of coming back to life, which is something that I fucking love. It's my favorite sci-fi trope of all time. Just I just love it so much. So yeah. It's happening next month. Then, because I loved first uh, the first book when I read it, and last year I really want to read *The Liar's Knot*, which is the second book after *The Mask of Mirrors*. And I was waiting for the audiobook because the because the audiobook came out this year. So now that I actually have it, because I have already bought it, uh, I think it's about time. Not this month because you saw my TBR; it's just huge. But next month, uh, this is going to be on the TBR for sure. But yeah, if you have not read The Mask of Mirrors, it is a very compelling story with politics, disguises, pretending to be other people. Conan also is, is, there's so much going on. The world is very complex. Everything is very complex in the first book, honestly. <laughs> but it's just super good. I highly recommend it, especially if you just like something like The Lies of Locke Lamora you're going to love this. Oh, then before I forget, uh, I really want to read this book since I actually read the synopsis. This is the book eaters. And hear me out. I'm not someone who uh, loves books about books. I mean, I like them, but I just don't usually love them. It's not like a must for me. Like if I hear that a book is about books, I'm not just like jumping on it being just like, yeah, finally. No, I'm just like, okay, interesting. So since I actually realized that the book eaters is kind of a dark fantasy, I need to read this. But yeah, basically in this one, people can just eat books and they just absorb their, their knowledge. <sighs> Sounds so bizarre, but I just really want to try this one. Like, I'm so excited. I'll get either a physical copy or an audiobook next month because it just sounds fucking great. So I want it. <laughs> then this one, I've talked uh, several times about it, but it's... Uh... Sons of Darkness, I almost forget the name, but this cover is fucking amazing. This is also dark fantasy, it's a Hindu dark fantasy, uh, like the burning throne, upon a burning throne. So I'm just extra excited for this one also, but this one I actually don't know anything about and I just don't feel like knowing. Honestly, I had an arc of it, but it was archived like two days after I got it and now I cannot get my copy. <laughs> which is so annoying but yeah overall i'm just i'm just excited i kind of really wanted to read it for the book club but it wasn't picked two times so i'll get i i get it okay i'll, I'll i won't push it <laughs> but i don't know i just really want to read this one it looks so good and it was actually recommended to me by someone in the discord so i just want to read it i want to read it then this book was recommended to me by the author of The Rave. So this is Gone to See the River Man and it's a horror story. And it's basically about something that I actually really like, but it's about a woman that is obsessed with the serial killer. <laughs> I don't know anything else, but the moment I saw it, I was just like, okay. And I said that he really liked it. So I was just like, I might need to try it actually. So yeah, it sounds great. I will get a probably Kindle copy, but man, it sounds good. Then I came across this book a bit ago, and this is A Fig for All the Devils, and it's kind of a horror story also. And it seems to be like very kind of poetic in a way, but it's basically about this man who meets death, and now death is training him in like the arts of death in general. And it seems to be like not dark academia, but the type of feeling, you know? So I don't know, I've been very interested in this one for a long time. Uh, it also doesn't have an audio, which is the only reason why I haven't read it yet. But I'm just really excited. <laughs> Then finishing up with some of the physical ones that I still have, uh, The Black Coast. I've heard that it has a similar vibe to The Grace of Kings, like uh, the shock between two cultures and such, but it's not as good as The Grace of Kings. And you know what? Taking into account that is uh, the best series that I've read, The Dandelion Dynasty, it's fine. No one is going to be up to, that, to those standards, probably ever. <laughs> But I'm very excited for this one. But yeah, it's basically about the arrival of the, of these ships coming from a different continent to this one, and they're trying to figure out what the hell they are going to do with all these people and such. So I'm I'm actually really curious about this one. I've heard uh, good things, but not splendid things about this first book. So I'm still really curious about it. So then we have here Vagabonds. I got this book because it's a translation by Ken Lu. <laughs> and now I just buy everything by him. But this is a sci-fi novel and 
it seems to be very metaphorical in general but i'm kind of curious basically uh this war between mars and earth happened and now to just uh settle things down they seen on um, the son of some military guy i just don't remember right now to earth but now they find themselves uh not belonging to either mars or earth so they are kind of vagabonds so apparently that's like the main point i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of talks about a belonging or not belonging so i'm not i don't know i'm just really curious about this one like it looks really good i just really want it to be good it seems really slow paced which is not something that i mind so I'll probably be fine so yeah those are all the books that i really want to read soon have you read any of these please just let me know uh what are the books that you really want to read super soon that you're really excited about just let me know down in the comments below and as always i will see you in the next one bye